In his studies involving pea plants, Gregor Mendel described phenotypic traits in which one allele was dominant to a recessive allele. He showed that with complete dominance, the phenotype of the heterozygote is the same as that of the homozygous dominant. Since Mendel's discovery, we have seen that many allelic pairs do not show complete dominance. When one allele is not completely dominant to another, it is said to show incomplete dominance. The heterozygote is intermediate in phenotype to either the homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive condition. One example of incomplete dominance occurs in the color dilution gene in horses. The horse color phenotypes chestnut, palomino, and cremello are controlled by the color dilution gene. Chestnut, also called sorrel, has a red pigment over the body and in the mane and tail. Cremello is extremely light-colored, almost white. Palomino appears as an intermediate between chestnut and cremello and has a golden body color with a flaxen mane and tail. The explanation for these different coat colors involves two alleles, big C and big C CR. A chestnut horse is homozygous for the big C allele. A cremello horse is homozygous for the big C CR allele. A cross between a chestnut and cremello produces all heterozygous offspring, which are palomino in color, big C, big C, CR. The gene symbols used here do not imply dominance or recessiveness. Neither allele is dominant or recessive to the other. Palominos are not true breeding. A cross between two palominos always produces chestnuts, palominos, and cremellos in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. Notice that the genotypic and phenotypic ratios are identical. This 1 to 2 to 1 phenotypic ratio is characteristic of a cross between two heterozygous individuals. Another modification to Mendel's complete dominance is codominance. This occurs when the heterozygous individual exhibits the phenotype of both homozygotes. This differs from incomplete dominance, in which the heterozygous individual exhibits a phenotype intermediate between the two homozygotes. In codominance, there is no dominance or recessiveness of an allele. Instead, two dominant alleles are fully expressed at the same time. An example is the human MN blood group system. The MN alleles result in the formation of antigens on the red blood cell surface. There are two alleles in the MN system, LM and LN. These alleles combine to form three blood types, M, MN, and N. These blood types are determined by the genotypes, LM, 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 LN, and LN, LN, respectively. A person homozygous for the LM allele and another person homozygous for the LN allele can only produce offspring who are heterozygous, LM, LN. These offspring will show both the M and N antigens on their red blood cell surface. Two heterozygotes produce offspring who have the M, MN, or N phenotype in a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio. The genetic segregation patterns of codominant and incompletely dominant traits are the same, 1 to 2 to 1 phenotypic and genotypic ratios for progeny from crosses between two heterozygotes. However, heterozygotes with two incompletely dominant alleles have a phenotype that is intermediate between the phenotypes of the two homozygotes. In contrast, alleles that are codominant are each fully expressed in heterozygotes, so that heterozygotes show the phenotypes of both homozygotes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel The BioWay on YouTube and press the bell icon so that you will never miss another update from my channel. Thank you.